Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, have a little, little hammer vodka. Can't seem to get enough of this. I don't know how good that is for me, but it, <laughs> it is good. It actually is good for you, mm. right? All the ing clear ingredients you have here in your hammer vodka. Well, think about it. Zero carbs, zero calories, 100% organic. So if you're trying to lose some weight, I've got the weight loss package. It's called <laughs> hammer vodka. Speaking of weight loss packages, or packages <laughs> in general, in general, Mr. P. Diddy got himself into a little bit of a free golf. He got a free golf goal, man. Showing Combs, P. Diddy. You know, he he kind of made his money by producing artists, right? He had yeah. R.J. Blige and uh, Notorious B.I.G. and just you other uh, Justin, right? He actually just sold part of a. Uh, tequila brand for like 300 million or something like that so he's got some money floating around but the boy's a freak i think the the uh vodka company was he had a very small portion of chirac well no he had delio and tequila as well yeah but the rock too he had i think of chirac His fingers and everything literally who knows if we're right or not but um you know it's sad that it comes down to this you know a lot of people looked up to him and you know to be doing this illicit shit on the side just isn't good for the industry. Well, there's there's one thing about having girlfriends and, you know, having parties and that kind of shit, but when you start, you know, loading up mansions where you've got the ground floor, the second level, and the third level, depends on how deep you want to get your freak on, right? Freak off in his term. A freak off is like a 69, 1969 term. It basically means sexual intercourse. Yeah. Right. And so you got to get your freak off and you go to one of his parties and you have these theme parties Full of celebrities, by the way, and that's what's going to be interesting. When this thing goes to court, which is Will soon, and he says he wants to be on the uh, witness stand. Yep, he wants to get on the bench. He's going to name names. He's going to be talking about people, and there's going to be some people in trouble, I think, because if he starts saying, here's what was going on, and, and Ashton Kutcher was watching, and he was one of them, you know, used to go, he didn't stop it, right? Ashton didn't stop it, or this celebrity or whomever didn't stop it, didn't blow the whistle. So there could be some real repercussions on this trial. Yeah, I got a feeling that, uh, unfortunately, and I hope this doesn't come to fruition, but uh, he might get Epstein. <laughs> he could very well get Epstein. You know, yeah. There's too many people in this yeah. in this bucket, Yeah, and it's a big bucket of shit. Remember the first one was like Heidi Fleiss. Remember, she had the black book, yep. right? And everybody's like, do not let this book go public. That's right. And I don't think it ever did, really, did it? It didn't. It yeah. didn't. So, but this is different. He's got over a hundred charges against Diddy, right? And that includes underage boys and girls, which goes to sex trafficking, which is a site. When that happens, they bury you under the jail. Correct. And your fellow inmates, inmates are, well, Epstein, your ass all day long. Mm -hmm. right? they, they don't put up with that horse shit, no, right? They do not. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's a sad state of affairs, but... Uh, but what triggered it? I mean, how did it all of a sudden just boom? You know what? I'm not sure. I'm not You know? Mm -mm. They raided all of his places, and somebody, they had to have a whistleblower, or somebody went, hey, uh, you're not paying me or whatever, and I'm going to... I'm going to do you up. Or, or maybe the uh, manufacturer of the, the lube. What is it called? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, oil. Baby oil. Baby yeah. oil. He's got a thousand jars of that shit at his house. Let's yeah. see. What do we need that for? Their stock went down. Yeah, their stock went down. But, you know, it's, 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 it is a sad state of affairs when you start seeing this go down. But, you know, more often than not, I bet a lot of the celebrities that you idolize have dark little fucking secrets like that. And they do weird shit. And it's starting to, you know, come up. It's just coming well, up. Well, you know, let's let's back it up a, get, a little bit and think about Bill Cosby. Oh, man. Right? Same shit. You know, I got all the money in the world. I can do what I want and be what I want. But let's go ahead and drug these girls so they don't yeah. have no fucking clue what's going on when I'm, you know, doing my freak off. Your freak off, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, there's a bunch of them. This isn't anything new. No. And all the so-called celebrities uh and politicians and financiers i mean there could be a huge ripple effect from this case yeah uh, but you know and and then you know where does it stop or you know it, that gets into the freedom of you know speech somewhat 
Information Act. Information Act. There's a lot yeah. of stuff that gets involved in that, which is, again, the, the instant information that we have now in this world on our planet Earth is ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, if, if, you know, somebody in Pakistan right now drops a goddamn baby on its head, we know about it in 10 seconds, you know. But it, it's so funny to me that the White House will tell you, oh, everything you see on uh, YouTube and social media, it's, it's all fake news. Well, that's probably the realest news you're going to get because you're getting it from the people. You go to CNN and MSNBC and all these. Well, they're biased. They're, all all oh, of the stations are biased. Totally. Right. Each different way. Absolutely. Right? They all have that. And I would say social media is too, but the bias is individual bias. Right. It's not a party bias or a gender bias or anything like that. It's just like, here's what I think. And here's, I'm telling you what I think. And you need to think that way as well. Yeah. Huh? Like we're seeing all this stuff on P. Diddy and everything that came out. And then they had uh, Jay Z and Beyonce, they're talking about part of this stuff. And, you know, they're saying, oh, it's not true. But other people are there said, no, it is true. So you have, um, not only different opinions, but when people get scared because they know they're going to get outed, shit starts to... It's going to get deep, man. I, yeah. I think it's going to start swirling around this. This is going to be like the OJ trial, right? We're going to be watching that thing. Everybody's going to not go to work on Monday and Tuesday. Mondays. I wonder... Yeah, well, that is a Monday. Uh, I wonder uh, how OJ's doing in hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually wondering how my uh, sheet I bought when he was in jail, right? He was selling shit and signing stuff. Yeah, remember that? I I was I don't ask me why I stopped on a on a buyer network. What do you call those things? Shop shop shopping network, network. network was called. Yeah, and he had one of his uncut um, uh, football card sheets. Yeah, and he signed it while he was in jail right after he got arrested. And hey, you bought that I shit? I have one. Oh, yeah. my God. I wonder if I'm out of gain some value on that. I'm going <laughs> to get, if, you, I mean, you can probably use it for a roll of toilet paper. That's <laughs> <laughs> about what you're going to get for it. You know, now you got, uh, uh, what's the other, Kanye. You know, Kanye's, you know, he's got a lot of stuff in his past with his anti-Semitic stuff going on and, you know, you know, beating up on Taylor Swift before we even know who Taylor Swift was, basically, when he's pulling the the, uh, the, the mic from her. from her. Yeah, was it a Grammy or was it a... I think it was a Grammy and Oscar, whatever it was. It was a Grammy, I'm sure. It was a Grammy, yeah, it had to be. But, you know, now he's getting divorced, by the way, I think, from his, uh, his naked girlfriend who he forces to walk around naked, basically, with him. You know what? These guys are so full of themselves. Let, let, them, let them crash and burn. They are. And exactly. And, uh, you know, hey, guess what, guys? At the end of the day, if you did this shit, and if you're uh, uh, hanging out with underage people and uh, doing things you shouldn't be doing, you need to pay for that. Yeah, you know, there's cameras everywhere now. Yeah. There's information everywhere now. You got somebody in the back of a party, you think it's all private, somebody's got a phone back there, you know? You, you know, th there may be some good that comes from this. Ever. Yeah. You know, yeah. maybe maybe people will clean up their act and say, think twice about doing something stupid i have gone to parties uh you? in the yeah in my uh music days um where you had to put your phone away they they took your phone from you if you're coming into the party i think diddy was doing that wasn't he yeah but uh needless to say i don't go to those anymore but quit fucking up people <laughs> come on no matter what guys nowadays there's too many of those cameras everywhere so you're going to get busted one way or the other. Yeah, I was watching one the other day on Instagram, which, you know, uh, admittedly, I, I'm, I'm on, right? Right. And it's these these uh, crash and grab or whatever they call it, right? Is, uh, I don't know, there's like 30 guys busting into a 7-Eleven. You got this poor guard. He's trying to hold the door shut. Hold them shut. Hold them shut. Let's hold back. I'm here to protect this store. They eventually, you know, make their way in. They beat the piss out of this poor guy. They rob the hell out of it. They leave. As far as California is concerned, you're good as long as you're not stealing more like what five grand or three grand or something. No, it's nine hundred and fifty bucks. Whatever it is, and it's in a Seven Eleven, that takes a lot of fucking green hot yeah. to get up to that number. So they just let them go, you know. And it's like I, I just, oh, I, I can tell you what I really think, but it's like it, I'd probably get in trouble by telling you what I really think. Just, just to make it clear, and I, I, I don't like you casting aspersions about. The green hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I like those green hot dogs. Sure, with a, and a green hot dog and a, and a, and a Mountain Dew. That's it. Yeah. You're set.
But, you know, so, you know, to me, it's like at the very least, I'd get out those beanball guns and just like start mowing those guys but down. you got to be a complete loser. If you're going to go beat up a security guard with 50 of your buddies and steal from a 7-Eleven. Get Skittles and a green hot Yeah. Dog. Boy, you're a brain surgeon. Nice job. Yeah, nice. So, guys, listen, whatever happens, I'm sure uh, the truth will come out and uh, P. Diddy will either get buried under the jail or... You know, get the hell out of it. So, and we're here to tell you when it happens. Yeah. Good luck to you, P. Diddy. Cheers. <laughs>